Scrapers are some of the most versatile tools in the shop. I'm going to show you a few simple jigs that will help you put an edge easily and quickly on a scraper. We need to get the sides smooth and polished, the edge polished and straight and 90 degree to the sides. I'm going to be using an 8000 grit Japanese water stone. If this were a new scraper, I might use a coarser diamond stone to do a lot of the heavy lifting. But since this is already tuned up, the 8000 grit stone will be fine. A little water on there. I'm using this wood block to put even pressure because fingers alone won't give you a nice even pressure and, and ensure that you have even contact on the stone. So it's just a block of poplar, two little pieces of wood that are less thick than the scraper itself. And this will allow me to get even pressure and polish up the sides of my scraper easily. There's no need to polish these areas in here. As long as I'm touching along the cutting edge and have an even polish all the way down, both sides are good to go. Now that we've polished the sides of our scraper, we need to make the edge straight and 90 degrees to the sides. This is a process that gives a lot of people problems. So I've made a simple jig to make this easy to do. It's a block of wood with a groove cut in it to accept a file at 90 degrees to the face. It holds the scraper flat and square to the file and lets me easily put a perfect 90 degree edge on my scraper. The filing created a burr that needs to be removed on the smooth stone. For this, I can use my fingers because I'm pressing lightly and I'm only trying to knock off this burr. You can use your fingers to feel when you've done that. So we're going to knock the burr off both sides. And then we're going to polish the edge to refine the edge that was created by the file. When we get a nice smooth edge, we go back, lightly knock off any burr, and we're ready to go to the burnisher. A burnisher is a hardened piece of steel that's used to push an edge out of this metal. It literally pushes the metal into a mushroom shape and creates a hook on the edge. I like to put a little oil on the edge to smooth the action of the burnisher. And I'll start by just pushing down firmly at 90 degrees to start to create a hook. Then I'll start to lay the burnisher over at like 5 to 14 degrees and start working it back and forth. You can feel for a hook. One thing that some people do is they try to get too much of a hook and that hook won't last and it'll break down. So a little bit of hook will work. You can kind of judge it. If you need a little more, you can put it back in the vise. Try to get more. You put one on both edges. So you work one side till you get a hook and you work the other side. That's what we're looking for. Nice shavings.